Just a warning, this video is not gonna be funny at all. I'm dead ass serious. So if that's not the vibe you want today, check out some of my other videos, sis, I got you. But I'm passionate about what I'm gonna be talking about because it drives me up a fucking wall when people try to police me or any artist over some moral high ground bullshit. A big YouTuber with a million subs who will not be named. I'm gonna call them Booney New for this video. Booney New left a response on my video. One of the first people to comment on it actually. So with peace and love, I would like to make a response to their comment. It's about time I brought up the subject in the art space and share my view on AI art. And long story short, I don't think artists should be afraid of AI art at all. In fact, the only reason I think people are afraid of it is because maybe they don't know how to feel about it. Fear of the unknown. And they look to big creators like Booney New and other top YouTubers to be able to tell them how they feel about it. And I personally don't think people should use their influence to just tell people what's right or what's wrong, especially on AI and the usage of it as artists. I think as a bigger artist that you should be able to see objectively and educate yourself so you can be able to make your audience aware of these things and not just brand all AI usage as bad and morally wrong to use. It's a choice that you let people decide for themselves after educating them the pros and the cons of it. AI is here now. It exists and it exists as a tool, as a guide, as a placeholder, and yes, people can profit off of it either in innovative or scummy ways. People are gonna use it for different things, good or bad. You can be wary of it and choose to avoid it or you can embrace it. You as a person who's just sitting in a room with your friends making tracks with shitty lyrics doesn't make you the equivalent to a person who uses unauthorized AI to make a fully profited album that they claim that they created themselves. Y'all are two different people, two different contexts, two different situations and with two different intentions. And in this context, me sharing my silly AI music playlist featuring songs about poop and monkeys and heavy usage of alcohol is not harming anyone. Actually, let me tell you what I was doing when I made these songs. I had been in one of my moods one night when me and Pink stumbled across the Oni Plays video. And if y'all don't know who Oni is, he's another individual artist here on YouTube. And he has this video up of them playing around with the AI called Suno. And they made these crazy like Russian songs. It was just like, it was just fucking bullshit. It was hilarious though. And it looked so fun that we wanted to try it out too. So me and Pink stayed up all night just laughing and talking and brainstorming together as we made up the lyrics to these songs. And we went and made more than we ever dreamed of making because AI is buggy as hell. And most of the time what you get is the literal garbage noises. <laughs> but it was so funny and we had so much fun with it. And I listened to those AI songs while I draw. And a few days ago, I thought I'd share it with the world. World. When we made these songs, we were thinking in the moment of fun and memories we could share together. Of course, there's always gonna be people who use it for bad purposes. There's always gonna be someone stealing art, tracing, and making AI art while passing it off as their own. There are gonna be bad people everywhere you go. My stance on AI is that you can use it. You can use it for fun. You can use it for placeholders, references even. It's another tool that you can use to spark your own creativity. And trust, me using AI for random little shit isn't gonna stop me from being the creative artist that I'm striving to be. And it shouldn't stop you either. I'm always gonna have a passion for creating things from my own brain that I'm proud of and that I came up with by myself. And if I use AI for any anything, I say it. Shit, I'll say it right in the title. Shit, I'll credit it every time. Shit, I'll tell you which parts are AI. But that doesn't change who I am or what I stand for. And if I came up with it myself, I show that shit off. AI is not gonna stop me from being who I am. I'm still open and honest and as authentic as I can be. And AI isn't gonna stop any of you from being an artist or musician. AI is neutral. It's up to the person who wields it. And if there is a definitive moral line, I would like to illustrate for everyone here what 
mine is. And I don't want y'all to be afraid of AI art thieves. Of course, try not to get scammed, but say if they steal my art and use it to train an AI program, what am I going to do? There is nothing I can do about that. Some things are outside of your control. The only thing I can do about that is continue to be the best artist I can be. Somebody can put my art in an AI program now and I'll use that bitch as a reference. Mm-hmm, surely will. AI is not gonna be able to keep up with you anyway. They can't take my humor, my humanity, my brain, how I connect with things. If you are a growing artist, AI should not be able to keep up with you. People aren't afraid AI is gonna take over. They're afraid that they're gonna become obsolete, that they themselves aren't good enough to do better, that they're not good enough to keep up. And don't blame AI on that, honey. That's a topic for a whole nother video. You are the only one with your voice. You are the only one with your hands because every artist should always be growing and expanding and changing. And if you're scared of the people that make commissions off of AI art, stealing your clients, ask yourself, were they really people you want to be working for? People who can't even tell what your art looks like. People who can't even tell what your art style is. People who can't even see the effort and details and love you put into your art. People who can't even appreciate you. To me, Commissions aren't just about making money, chasing money. If it was just to make a living, I would be working in a factory. If you're just looking for money, art isn't the most efficient way to go about it. It's more to being an artist than just that. You should want support from people and clients who actually want your art, want your energy, your creative touch, and actually want to support you. You're giving life to this person's vision in a way that only you can do. You are a part of this person's life now. Art is love. AI, nobody, or nothing can take that from you unless you let it. Y'all letting something that's not even alive punk you out your spot. Girl, get up. And if any of that scares you away from creating what you wanna create and be the person you wanna be, if you let fear stop you and make you question who you are, then you'll never get to where you need to be and face the lessons that you need to learn. Educate yourself on it on your own time. Don't let people tell you how to feel about it. You need to figure that out for yourself. I want to encourage y'all to form your own opinions find your own morals and preferences and if you want to use ai don't let people fear monger you out of trying it for yourself being morally correct all the time is what makes people end up so stiff and lifeless and scared to do or try anything or be anything your fear is what's always gonna hold you back but where people see fear i see an opportunity whenever digital art came about y'all don't think people was out here like the digital artists have all these tools tools and lassos and liquefies, they're gonna run us traditional artists out of business. Like, yes, it happened. Me choosing to eat meat is not going to make the meat industry disappear. And I know the cow right activists are pissed right now. As humans in general, when new things come out, we evolve, we adapt to it, we change, we learn. That's how we grow. AI is just one of the thousands of things that we've created to push society forward. AI is not the enemy of art. It's just another brush. It's a suggestion. It's a tool. There's always going to be a place for talented artists. We're not running out of room. You're just too afraid to show your and be yourself probably out of fear of what all these other people would think about you and that's another thing nobody can tell you what kind of artist you should be or what kind of opinion you should have or whose side you gotta be on you have to rely on your own intuition your own gut your own brain and what feels right for you if you can't choose for yourself you're gonna end up listening to somebody else's belief and they'll choose it for you. You have to know who you are. And to know who you are, you have to face the unknown. If you think that AI looks fun as hell and you wanna try it, go for it. And if you wanna stay on the traditional side of things, then that's your prerogative. But I don't think it's right to start shaming creators for using it because now, You've just told all these younger artists to stay away from it. It's bad if you do this. It's bad if you see someone doing it. You need to steer far away from them because they're a bad person and are actively harming artists and musicians. If you so much as breathe in that robotic son of a bitch's direction, you will be shunned by society and will also get canceled by all of your peers. How can you even call yourself an artist when you when you reference the shoulder meat for from this AI generated art in your own art. That's how y'all sound. You are not a bad person for using AI. You are not 
wrong for using AI. There are real jobs springing from this area and real people who can use it to help speed up the process of, of something like editing videos and auto adjusting photos and all sorts of wacky shit that they coming up with now. And I don't know about y'all, but that's interesting to me. Who's to say that they haven't already started paying artists to program their sets with their art? Yes, there are bad things about AI, but there's good things too. And you can acknowledge the benefits and potential future with it too. Just as a quick example, I used AI backgrounds and dances for my demo on BoobaQuest. All of this was clearly stated everywhere. I even said it in the live stream. And because I know what I'm doing, I made it free for everyone to play because I just want people to experience my story and my humor and my creativity in other ways. And I may not have the money or time to create all that I need on the spot, but now I'm not left with no options. And placeholders are fine, jokes are fine. You having personal fun and joy, there's nothing wrong with that. And if AI can help your ideas come out faster and get you going on the right track instead of being bogged down with all of the technicalities and all the things that you need for this project, use it if you want to. I have this one scene where it's just completely AI, where Kale is dancing on the stage of the talent show. Now, do Y'all think I was gonna spend months rotoscoping and learning Blender and hiring a dancer just for this shit. This is one way you can use AI. And this shit is fucking hilarious to me. It's so ugly and stupid and scary looking, it's hilarious. But you know what I did create on the game? The storyline, the dialogue, the character sprites, the humor, the video editing and video sequences and coding that I spent so much time learning and staying up nights on end just so I could stream it with the people who got me here. Just because I wanted everyone to have a good time, not for the money or for the fame of it. I mean, of course I was sad that it didn't blow up and pop off and go viral and make me a shit ton of, of, of donation money and a Kickstarter and this, that, and the other. So I can afford those things and not use AI. I still got big dreams, but I chose my happiness and my audience's happiness over what I wanted the outcome to be. AI was just one of the tools I used for an overall experience. And I'm grateful as fuck that I can get on here and rewatch that stream and see how much Ooh, and see how much everyone enjoyed it and had a blast because I wish I had someone like that for me growing up. And if I want to be the example of being a free creative artist without compromising myself and my own beliefs and values, I have to be able to show people what that looks like. I don't plan on using AI to create for me. I do not use AI to make art for myself and never intended to. When we made this playlist, we made it with the intention of giving people a taste of our personal humor. But I do plan on using it when I'm bored or need a specific reference that's out of this world or just want to have fun making weird ass pictures and shitty music about titties and farts. It's not going to stop me from expressing myself creatively and it's not going to affect me creatively unless I allow it to be. In fact, I think random misinformation from art YouTubers is more harmful to artists than AI is. AI is what we make it to be. You you can choose to support it and use companies that have data sets that they pay people to use and choose to not support people who do it unauthorized from anywhere or not. No matter what side you choose, that doesn't make us not cool. We just different people. I just want y'all to not be afraid to be free and express yourself in whatever creative outlet you feel comfortable with. Now, how does my original video that started all of this actually affect people? At worst, the people who watch it might get a little case of brain rot but at the best they get a funny ass video from someone who wants to share the things that make them happy and spread that joy and energy and laughter to others <sighs> now what i'm about to say next is a fully emotional response i'm a human with human emotions and having them isn't wrong it might not be the prettiest way and i might not be able to find all the words to truly describe how I'm feeling, but I feel like I need to say it anyway. I don't consider myself to be a part of the art community. I'm just an individual artist. I'm a walking contradiction of ideas. And if you look at my channel, I can't hide that shit. It's gonna be who I am, regardless of what anyone thinks I should be, because that's 
who I am as an artist. That's why I can't stand people policing and demonizing everything around them and teaching people how to be like them when people need to grow into who they are. Because now you got all these people and channels that are afraid to be themselves fully for fear of what others are gonna say about them. Girl, fuck what anyone got to say about you. Booney New has a million subscribers, a million. And I don't care how much influence they have. I don't give a fuck how big they think they are. Some people have a whole platform and got nothing to say. As quoted by Pink, they don't know me. I love to experiment and try new things and figure out new ways to use those things to my advantage and learn. I deep dive into research and have fun while doing it. I use AI to make crazy shit and laugh the whole fucking time I'm doing it. People can have whatever opinion they want on me, but at the end of the day, I know myself enough to not change myself over what internet culture is telling me how I should feel or what I should use and how I should be. The whole point of being an artist is freedom of expression. And whatever medium you find that expresses yourself the most at this very moment in time, I encourage you to try it. Just follow your heart, just be human. You don't have to be right because everyone's right is gonna be different. You don't think I had people telling me to give up on art entirely because there's so many better artists out there. It's too hard and I didn't go to art school so I won't be able to go into these industries and I have locks and I'm black so I have to cut my hair and change the way I talk and get this and this job that I'm not even happy at but I'm bending myself backwards over for it. This whole page is proof that you don't have to be anything you don't want to be. It's proof that you don't have to conform to what any rules anyone has given you if you don't want to. You can make it with what you have as yourself. So yeah, I support all of these new innovations and ways we can enjoy ourselves and, and entertain ourselves. Do I wish things were more regulated so unauthorized usage isn't a thing with AI? Yes, of course, but I support authorized usage, things made for personal use, having fun, entertainment, whatever you want to call it. And the people who keep complaining about this shit are miserable. I mean, y'all are coming on a playlist with 4K views trying to shame me for sharing it. They can't even hear what they listening to because they so stuck up in their ass about moral high grounds and random stupid AI shit that's not even true. And if my AI generated baby boo boo music is putting you out of business, then sis, you gotta work harder. And y'all out here scaring these younger artists shitless and demonizing these things when they could be learning how to use it and making it work for themselves and advancing themselves faster than we had to. They need to explore and learn just like everyone else in every other industry. AI isn't a threat to the music industry. You wanna know what's actually killing the music industry? The music industry. Just turn on the radio and you'll hear the same five songs playing back to back. When like was the last time you heard an original local artist on the main radio broadcast? AI isn't killing the music industry. AI art isn't killing the art industry. We make that shit. If you want to support real art and real artists, do that shit. But you shaming people for using AI art isn't helping support artists. You're just bumming people out and it's still gonna be there. And people are still using it with or without you supporting it. You are not supporting artists when you do that shit. You are supporting your own moral high ground, your own validation. You're supporting these big ass billion dollar industries that tell you what you should be listening to and who you should be supporting. AI is a tool to be used by artists to help us improve, not a tool to make an artist an artist. You can't replace the creativity or writing or precision we put into our creation. This is not the first time a new thing has came out and people were scared of it like a caveman seeing fire for the first time. And the only reason why these people and companies are demonizing AI is because now the people have the same opportunity as them and they don't like that shit. And they gonna try to demonize it so that you can demonize it and spread word of how bad it is. You just doing their jobs for them. AI makes it easier for artists to get their concepts into reality. AI is gonna help them get these things out faster so they don't have to struggle and work yourself to the bone. You can just use AI to help you get your idea out there or to help other people see your vision and have a presentable form that's not just in your head. Or you can use it for fun like I do and will continue to until I'm bored. And then those same people telling you is 
this bad to even so much as utter the word AI are people who didn't even grow up in the same world as you. Not everyone has access to parents that'll pay for their art schools or music lessons. A lot of people don't have a parent to buy them their first guitar or provide them with all the money and everything that they need to start a high production indie animation studio or even have someone that genuinely supports them with what they wanna do in their lives. Not everyone has the same opportunities as everyone else. So who are you to shame people for using something that makes them smile and isn't hurting anyone? And who's to say that AI couldn't be that thing that sparks that fire inside of them just from them being able to see it and see their vision? AI is in the power of our hands now. We choose what we use it for. And it's not anyone's choice but your own. What you use it for is up to your discretion. The craziest part about it is I'm not even an AI defender. I'm just not a hater. I'm a neutral party. I can see the good and bad of it, but now I gotta get on here and say something so that people stop doing that shit to people. It's annoying as fuck. People are literally just having fun and hear someone come with their miserable, non-joy having ass calling you a fucking idiot and exclaiming how they're so disappointed in you. Bitch, I'm disappointed in you for not being able to think for yourself. I'm disappointed in you for letting a video about shit and dookie change your entire perception about an entire person. I'm disappointed in you who can say that you love watching my videos and you love me and support me and can turn around and say the rudest fucking shit to me just because you don't agree with the playlist about throwing feces at people. Like are people really that one dimensional? Woo, girl, let me stop because I'm getting heated about it. But the real reason why this video was made, don't take this part out of context. I don't like drama, but I gotta say what I'm about to say. I do not associate myself with the art community or anything like that. I'm just me. And what I'm about to say is coming from an emotional place that I gotta get out. Because when I saw your comment, I got heated, I'm not gonna lie. But I didn't wanna make something without thinking. This section is from my heart. I felt that you're such a big channel in the art sphere. People are watching you and listening and seeing what videos you leave comments on and seeing what you're saying about them. And they're watching how you talk to people and they're gonna try to mimic you and me and my peeps are over here chilling having fun like I don't be bothering nobody and it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way I feel like you could have used the alt account to leave that comment but you came as yourself with your big ass channel and audience I don't need the spokesperson of the art community telling me how I should be y'all not about to trap me into y'all's rules and you're not gonna try to take my power or anyone else's power away from them again if I'm reading too much in between the lines my fault but I just didn't like that, fam. Especially when you add in the context, like AI art is harming artists when that has nothing to do with me and what I'm making and trying to lump me in with people who are clearly and intentionally using AI for nefarious purposes and to harm others. I don't care how big anyone thinks they are. Nobody gonna punk me out of being myself and having fun and act like I'm doing something wrong and that I should feel some type of shame for that. I could understand if we sold it to people while passing it off as our own, but we are not. If I use AI in my free time to make whatever crazy shit I make, I shouldn't have to worry about some bigger artist like this coming up with some moral dilemma micro drama that has nothing to do with who I am and what I like to create. And I'm sick of being afraid of people who like to spread negativity and scare others and bully them by trying to convince them what they're doing is wrong. These people got people deleting their entire videos that they worked hard on for who knows how many hours and that they're happy with just because some big influencer has something to say about it. Don't be scared of them. This girl got over a million followers, but not one of them has the authority to force me into being the type of person that they want me to be. I'm never gonna be that perfect person. And I don't fucking want to because it's boring and miserable as fuck to be that way. AI isn't ruining artists. People are ruining artists. And when you look at my content, I wanna make content that I'm proud of so people don't have to settle for whatever everyone else is putting out. It's because I want to set a standard for myself on what fun, expressive, artistic, and creative content should look like. The art community is full of drama and negativity and rules on how you should be and who you should be and how you should act. And being here since the beginning, watching this community 
community grow into what it is today. I want it to be a positive force in this space. I want it to be the difference. And my goal is to have hundreds of others showing themselves in their own unique way and not be afraid to. I've dealt with that shit my whole life. People trying to tell me what my path is and me being miserable as fuck trying to please everyone around me until I ended up being a husk of who I wanted to be and wanting to myself because I lost my purpose. This shit ain't nothing new to me. I want to help people avoid going down that path. And it sure as hell doesn't help when you got all these big creators doing this shit to people. And when you actually go on my page and look at my content, you will see that. You may not be able to see how much passion and thought I put into what I made, how much I respect my audience, how slow I post to focus on practicing on quality and trying to show them how to break out of that shell that people trap them in. And they may not be able to see all the times I'm thinking of them when choosing to make something and how much love I put into everything that I make and how much it means to me to be open enough to share those little moments of joy that I made for myself. When at one point I thought I would never be happy again, but even if they can't see it, they can feel that shit cause it's love. My page is nothing but love. I care. I reply to every single fan art I get. I'm grateful for that shit. I'm grateful for all of you and I care about you. Every time I see y'all's art and see y'all make a post, it makes my heart so happy that I can make that kind of impact on your lives. And seeing y'all grow into these beautiful creative people that I knew y'all were. Fuck, but I'm trying to stay on topic. Let me rewind. The video is just an AI playlist. Me and Pink made the lyrics. AI made the song, but none of it was meant to be taken seriously. Even the title for the video itself, Neko's AI playlist for enlightened artists. Like, can you imagine someone sitting in a meditative like position and the first thing they hear is shitting in my ass. I posted that video because I know that the people on my channel that I raised would love to hear are silly fucked up lyrics to these wonky ass AI. And they did because those are the people who I want in my life. And if you you're not one of those people, then maybe I'm not for you. But I want to surround myself with people who love to laugh rather than surround myself with people that love to have problems. I'm picky about who I want in my life because I set that standard for myself. My audience is my people. Just let people be people. Let me be me. And I hope you take the time to actually see what other things I have to offer here on my channel. But yeah, I ain't gotta get off of here because I'm not about to sit up here for two hours being mad and people taking this part out of context and going like, look at this here, folks. Another aggressive black woman. See, this is why we can't trust them. I've been around the block, been there, done that. I'm just a human and I'm gonna say what I wanna say. This music was made having special moments with my husband and some random ass person coming to drag it based on their own bias and content that they created is what makes me mad about it. This isn't just about AI anymore. AI was just the catalyst. It's about being human. And at this point, whoever is mad just wants to find a reason to be mad. This is my PSA to not be punked out of your authenticity or to be bullied out of making things that make you happy. This is why I'm here. My own artist revolution. I want a world where people can be free to make the things they want using AI or not. Who the fuck cares? If you have an idea, I want you to create it. I want you to talk about the things you enjoy, to show that shit off. And as artists, I don't want us to hide ourselves for nobody. I want you to take pride in your own creations. I want you to have silly moments. I want you to find joy in the things that you do. And I want you to be able to spread that joy no matter how it comes out. And I'm turning the comments off on this video just because if it's one thing I want you to take away from this video, I really want y'all to think for yourselves on this one. No one's singular opinion should sway you on how you feel about it. Take time to do the research for yourself. Read about what AI actually does, what sites have authorized access, and just have fun and be human. Now after this video, I would like to stay drama free if y'all don't mind. I like to keep the good vibes in my space, but I said my piece. So that's it for this video. I hope y'all have the best days imaginable and I'll see y'all on my next redesign video. We about to eat, don't even worry about it. Love y'all and I'll see y'all next time.